Grace and peace, everyone, and welcome, watch enthusiasts. This is Time Measured. My name is DK, also known as Javid, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Glycine Combat Sub Bronze, GL0324. Now, Glycine is a Swiss brand established in 1914 by Eugene Milan in Bienne, Switzerland, first producing small wristwatches for women. Now known for making rugged tool watches primarily for men, Glycine gained wide attention in 1953 with the release of the Airman, and in 1967 they released their first diver in the Combat Sub. The Airman and Combat Sub are the two core lines that have kept Glycine relevant to this very day. And in 2016, Glycine was acquired by the Invicta Watch Group. In my opinion, Glycine is an underrated Swiss brand that makes excellent tool watches at affordable prices and deserves much more attention and love than they currently receive. Their watches are original and unique to the brand without trying to be an homage or something that it's not. Glycine is also one of the few brands that have been able to successfully use bronze watches in their collections. You will find beautiful bronze versions of the Airman and Combat sublines at affordable price points, and I highly recommend Glycine if you're looking at getting a bronze watch for an affordable price. Now, bronze is not for everyone, but me personally, I love the way bronze watches look on the wrist especially on darker skin tones. And if accessorized with the right colors in your outfit, you can look very distinguished. Now, bronze is a beautiful material that carries a unique and vintage look that patinas and changes color over time into a lovely dark tone. And for an example, as you can see here, this is a new watch. So the bronze material looks very new, very rose goldish. But I'm going to show you another bronze watch that has patinaed over time and it looks absolutely delightful. Here's my Glycine Airman bronze. Now, as you can see, the color of the bronze looks much darker than how it would have looked brand new like the Combat Sub. But as you can see, the bronze has aged very well. I've owned this watch for um, over a year now and the bronze patina looks absolutely amazing you can see here it just has a beautiful and lovely dark tone almost like a like a chocolate metal and it perfectly matches the chocolate dial as well as the brown leather strap so side by side you can see how that bronze can look very, very attractive over time. Some people are afraid to try out bronze, but as you can see here, there's nothing to be afraid of. Bronze looks absolutely beautiful, whether it's brand new or whether it patinas over time and develops a beautiful dark tone, such as the Glycine Airman. Now every watch collector should consider owning at least one bronze watch in their collection. Now, when you think of bronze divers, the Tudor Black Bay 58 bronze instantly comes to mind. And in my opinion, the Glycine Combat Sub GL0324 is the perfect affordable alternative to the Tudor Black Bay 58 bronze. Now, when you purchase this watch new, what's different about the packaging is that the watch will come sealed in a plastic bag like this why because basically the metal is new and you need to seal the watch so that it doesn't oxidate and begin to patina so it's like a preservation technique so when you purchase the watch new and you open the box you will see the watch vacuum sealed in this plastic bag starting with the dial you have a 32 millimeter diameter you have a flat sapphire crystal with three layers of AR coating. 
You have a perfect and symmetrical dial design where the time is easy to read and nothing looks oddly out of place. You have a chocolate brown dial with gilded or gold accents, white maxi hour indices with gold framings, a white rectangle indices at the six and nine o'clock positions with a white triangle hour marker at the 12 o'clock. You have a date window at the three o'clock position using a white date wheel with gold framed border. You have the glycine crown logo under the 12 o'clock and the words combat automatic sub 20 ATM above the six o'clock. You have gold or gilded 60 minute track on the outer dial. You have a sword style minute hand, a Mercedes style hour hand, and a paddle style second hand. Now the hour, a minute, and second hands are in gold, accented with white and loomed with super luminova. The hour indices and 12 o'clock pip on the bezel are also loomed. And now for a loom shot. Taking a look at the loom, you can see the loom is decent. You have all your hour markers loomed. You have your hour, second, and minute hands as well. And then you have your loom pip at the 12. So definitely satisfactory and no strong complaints here in the loom department. Moving on to the case, you have a bronze case with satin brushed finishing. You have a 42 millimeter case with 200 meters of water resistance. You have a thin thickness of 11 millimeters. Look how thin that is. You have a lug width of 22 millimeters. You have a lug to lug length of 50 millimeters. And as you can see here, the lugs do curve down, giving the watch a much more closer fit to the wrist. You have a very thin coin edge bezel with brown aluminum insert and gold markings. You have a triangle loom pip at the 12 o'clock. You have a 120 click unidirectional bezel. And as you can hear, it has excellent ratcheting action. It's very firm and it's probably the best bezel that I've personally handled on a watch. Um, better than any Seiko diver that I've used and I've owned an Oris Aquas as well. And this even functions better than the Oris Aquas and it does line up perfectly. You have a closed stainless steel case back, nicely decorated with the Crown Glycine logo you have two Seals. dolphins and the word combat. It is a screw down case back. As you can see here, just looking at the words, you have the words glycine, GL0324, bronze case, steel back automatic, sapphire, 20 ATM. And it looks like you have some type of reference number there that I'm not sure what that's referring to. It could be the actual number of the watch. Also, you have very low profile crown guards that protects the crown perfectly and does not look out of place whatsoever. Looking at the crown, you have an, a nice oversized crown signed with the Glycine Crown logo. It's a screw down crown. The diameter of the crown is 7.5 millimeters. You have a crown thickness of five millimeters. It's very easy to grab. The winding action is firm yet easy to manipulate and turn and it is highly audible also you do have hacking and hand winding for the movement you have a glycine caliber gl224 which is essentially a salita sw220-1 or an eta 2824-2 you have 38 hours of power reserve you have a beat per hour rate of 28,800 beats per hour. And you can see the second hand sweeping across at a four hertz frequency. Me personally, I like a four hertz frequency as opposed to a three hertz. It just sweeps a little more smoother. 
what you are getting is a tried and proved Swiss made workhorse movement. Moving on to the strap, as you can see here, I have an aftermarket strap on. We're gonna take a quick look at the OEM strap that this watch came on. As you can see here, this watch comes on a rubber strap. I'm not really a fan of rubber, um, but as you can see here, Glycine did do a good job in providing probably the best rubber strap um, that you could put on this watch. It's a nice brown color and it does match the watch perfectly. What I like about it is that you have quick release pins. The strap is nice and soft and uh, it does function well for a rubber strap. However, I think Glycine made a poor choice in putting a rubber strap on a watch like this. I believe that bronze should always go on leather. Um, make a comment in the comments section if you agree with that. Um, I do not think that rubber straps are appropriate um, for the aesthetic look of a bronze watch. And what I think Glycine should have done is put this watch on a nice thick brown leather strap. Going back to my Glycine Airman bronze, you can see here that Glycine did the right thing in putting this on a beautiful thick leather strap and it looks absolutely great. So what I did is I found a nice thick 22 millimeter strap that matches perfectly with the aesthetic of this watch. As you can see, the brand that I'm using is, I can't really pronounce it, but it's K-V-A-R-N-S-J-O Leather from Sweden. I'm a big fan of leather straps, and this one is nice and thick. Um, I don't like thin leather straps, especially on a dive or pilot watch. So this is a perfect pairing. And basically, if you get this watch, just make sure that you can find a nice, thick brown leather strap and you are good to go. Now, aside from removing the original rubber strap and putting a leather strap on, I also removed the buckle that came on the original rub rubber strap and I placed it on the leather strap. As you can see here, you have a nice signed buckle by Glycine. Looks very high quality and it fits perfectly on this leather strap. Now it's either PVD coated or it's an actual bronze buckle. I'm not quite sure. In terms of style and performance, this is a well-made Swiss dive watch that looks fantastic in bronze. It has a rugged manly appeal and it does wear true to size at 42 millimeters, but does sit flat on the wrist and wears very comfortably. If there are any changes that I would make, I would say I would reduce the case size to either 39 or 40 millimeters. I would move the lug width down from 22 millimeters to 20 millimeters. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, I would pair this watch with a nice thick brown leather strap and maybe include the rubber strap as a secondary option. So here's a wrist shot. As you can see, bronze looks very nice on the wrist. Now in terms of value, you're getting great value with this Glycine. I purchased this Glycine um, on ashford.com and every so often they frequently have discounts and you can get this watch heavily discounted for around 500 Canadian dollars. You can also purchase this watch on Nomen watches for around $829. So if you're looking for a Glycine, I highly, highly recommend checking out ashford.com. Um, they have sales on all the time. Taking one last look at the watch.
And that ends the review of the Glycine Combat Sub Bronze GL0324. Please like, subscribe, and most of all, comment. I will respond to all comments made on my page. I hope you enjoyed this review. And until the next one, take care.